Thank you for tuning in to this NCA matchup. This is the third place match, the bronze medal match between Justin Slater on your left and Nathan Walsh on your right. Fantastic tournament that had quarterfinals, semis, then the finals. If you haven't watched that finals matchup that you see happening in the background here between Josh Carfiello and Connor Ryman, make sure you go check that out on our YouTube channel. Like, share, subscribe, do all that YouTube stuff. Now let's get down to action here. Nathan Walsh, first to act, comes up a little bit short. Slater makes him pay, does a nice drop back 20 there. Now Walsh finds his, finds his range. Ooh, Slater lips out. Walsh pushing for the follow through here. Mm. Mm. All kinds of ugly as that got hung up on the center hole and nearly dropped the 20 for Slater. <laughs> very, very close. Let's see what Walsh is able to do with this. Unable to capitalize on that heavy hanger. Slater in pretty good position here, sitting two on, although Walsh may be able to convert this into a 20. He does. Take out 20, putting a little bit of pressure on Slater. Pressure says... <laughs> pressure says... Slater says pressure smasher. All right. <clears throat> Dark disc stays on, which could prove costly. Slater with the hammer in this... Oh, so he's in decent position, but... He has left an opportunity for Walsh. Walsh looking to see if there's any way to get a double takeout here because that's kind of what he needs. Goes up in the 20 cup, 3-2. to two. Again, Slater immune to the pressure. Oh, Walsh going for the peel, which was definitely the smarter play. Doesn't matter. Slater takes the first two points in this race to nine, third place matchup. We see a couple of nice highlight shots here. Slater first to act in the second round. Oh, a little heavy. Almost rattle around in there for him. Let's see if Slater's going offense or defense. Defense it is. Although he may have left an opening here. and see if he can get the nice off and the 20. I think Slater was looking to roll a little further away on that, uh, on that defensive play of his. Regardless, here we are knotted up in the 20s. Another strange reaction off that center hole. Oh, Slater pushes for that follow through 20. Interesting matchup settling in here. Walsh going for the follow through, I believe. Oh, wow. I don't think that's what he was after, but he's probably pretty okay with a double takeout. Slater going for the off in the 20. Just a titch off on that offering. Advantage Walsh at this point as he has the hammer advantage. Slater content to hit and stick and wait for a better opportunity. Walsh likely to play defense, try to stay back. Nice shot. Hmm. Walsh likely happy to be on the outside here, but a strange little shot. Okay, that fantastic takeout. Just the angle he needed to take that at. All he needs is the takeout and to stay on. A little help from the peg. Knots this up two to two. Walsh first to act. Lips out a little bit on that open 20. Slater content to play defense, keeping play back on his side. See what Walsh looks to make happen. I don't think that's what he wanted. That's going to give Slater the opportunity to... Oh, I would have I expect Slater was trying to pull back off a peg, but instead pushed in. Still not a bad position, though. Not what Walsh wanted. Slater secures the takeout. Looks to tuck in behind a peg. Didn't get it quite right, but he's still in pretty decent position here. Two on with the hammer. Nice take out by Walsh. Going to leave Slater in an interesting position because he needs to not knock his own out in the process of what he does here. Interesting. Looks like Walsh going to be pushing. Oh, loses his shooter. Slater now sitting two on and one is 
tucked in behind that peg. He's going to be looking for a double takeout here. Nice shot. Probably would have been better off to lose a shooter as well, which he's likely to do here. There he goes. Takes some couple shots, but he forces play back to the middle. Slater comes up a little bit short, although he may be just short enough. A drop back. Likely not there. Inconsequential final shot. Slater shows off his touch. Those are fun little shots to go for. Slater going up 4-2 to two in this race to 9. Opening up the next round with an open 20. Putting a little bit of pressure on Walsh. Walsh immune. Answers back. Players finding their range now. These two didn't get the memo that I find it more interesting when it's not a 20s raise. <laughs> oh. Super Steve out of Nathan Walsh as he goes long, giving Slater a commanding lead 5-3 to three in the 20s. Shouldn't say commanding lead. But Walsh will need a miss out of Slater in order to get back into this round. Slater now seven twenties in a row. Eight twenties in a row. Perfect round by Justin Slater. That is terrible experience when you drain six or seven twenties and walk away with zero points because that bugger Justin Slater sat across from me and drained eight in a row. <laughs> Ask me how I know how that feels. Slater up six to two in this race to nine. And he has definitely settled into his open 20s range. Not a fun place to be as his opponent. Let's see what Walsh is up. Oh! Commentary jinx as he comes up short. A little bit of a heavy hanger. Walsh unable to convert on that, but not in a bad position. He's up a 20. He's got a little pressure on Slater. Slater goes for the touch 20. Trouble with that is you go for the touch 20. If you don't get the 20 or the off, then you've definitely given your opponent an advantage. See what Walsh does with this. Nice shot. Sits two on. Slater, nice little shot to pull things back into the middle. See if Walsh goes for the, I think he was going for the off and the 20. Leaving Slater another opportunity here. See what he goes for. Follow through 20. Walsh still with one on that's nicely posted. If he can bounce back with this 20 right here, oh, that 20 was uh, would have been crucial. Was crucial? Would have been crucial? I don't know. Heavy hanger here. Nice. Converts on that. Up a 20. He is against the hammer, though. Slater with hammer. Let's see what he's trying to do with this. Interesting. Uh, Walsh likely to try to pull back to leave both of his discs in the 10. Nice. Yeah, Slater doesn't have a lot of options here. Great shot by Walsh by pulling that back into the 10. Oh, wow. I, was, uh, I thought that Slater was in the position for the tie there, but nope. Walsh takes those two points. 6-4. Slater first to act in this next round. Slater comes up a little short. Leaves a bit of a backboard for Walsh. Oh, unable to convert. Although, yeah, nice little tap up there from Slater. The worst part of this for Walsh is he's got one sitting there as a backboard that he is going to want to disrupt somehow. <laughs> Weighing out his options. He wants the off. He wants to use a peg. See what he tries to do here. Ah, yeah, he wanted to move his own. Instead, he's left that backboard. That was tricky business trying to move that. That was really weird positioning in there. Goes a little long. Nice pullback by Slater. 
Walsh peels, forcing play back to the middle. Three shots left each. Walsh not out of this, but he's going to need a couple of really nice shots to get himself back in here. That right there would have been uh, very helpful on his road to a comeback. Yeah, Walsh with two shots left, needs two 20s. He's trying to go around the horn. Don't really think it's there. He had to try it for fun, though. Last couple shots, inconsequential. Slater drains and one more 20, as does Walsh. Getting some, uh, getting some practice in for the next round. Slater going up 8-4 to four in this race to 9. And Slater with the hammer advantage in this next round. Walsh comes up short. Slater content with just a simple takeout. As is Walsh. Walsh waiting for something better. Let's see what he tries to do with this offering. Pushing for that follow through 20. Doesn't get it, but leaves himself in a fairly interesting spot. See what Slater does with this. Yeah, he's weighing it out. Wipes the wax, hoping to stick. You know, he's going to have to hit this with a little more oomph. Okay. Keeps his shooter on, but does not remove the Walsh disc from the board. Oh! Wow. Fantastic jam 20. You hear him saying, that's what I thought he was going for. I thought he was going to try to ricochet and catch that peg. Instead, he just jammed back off the the uh, Slater disc for the 20. Regardless, he's up 120, which he really needed in that position. Oh, follows that up with a super Steve, opening the door for Slater to get right back into this. Slater lips out, leaving a heavy backboard. Oh, so, so close to securing that one more 20 would have been very good. That's not what Slater wanted. Play on the outside now. Walsh is happy with that. Slater's got to decide, is he going to peel or is he going to try to get in? He gets himself up in between the pegs. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Slater knowing he can't get back into that. He just takes a practice 20 to get ready for the next round. Walsh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Love the reaction. Slater first to act. Sitting 8-6. Wow. Slater right back to business. First two shots are open 20s. There's Walsh settles in. Oh, Slater comes up a little bit short, leaves a backboard. Give him Walsh an opportunity to get back into this round. And he secures it. Nice. 3-3. Three, three. Four shots left each. Slater did not look confident with that one. It, <laughs> it almost came up short, but he drains it. Walsh answers back. Three shots left each. All Slater needs in this round is a tie to secure the win. Two shots left each. Knotted up in the center hole. Something in the way there. Walsh takes a second to remove it. Resets. Oh, and overpowers. You can say all Slater needed for the win was a tie, which he gets. 9-7, great battle for this third place matchup. Lots of fantastic, fantastic matchups from this London tournament. Hope you've enjoyed it all. If you haven't, go back and watch it. Like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And find a Crokinole tournament for yourself. Most importantly, make it a great day.